just a little pinch here. Yun lang. That's it. After that, tapos. Finish. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Casey Reyes. You can call me Doc Casey. I'm a skin doctor, preventive medicine practitioner, and the founder of Luminis. In my practice, I have always found it important to keep learning and innovating in order to be able to provide the best treatments for my patients. In this episode of Skin Vesting, we'll be talking about the Luminous Lift using the advanced polycaprolactone, a new upgraded version of traditional nose thread lifting. For this procedure, I invited again a skin vestor, Margarita C., who has become a very dear patient of mine. This is just one of the four interesting episodes with Margarita. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell if you want to learn more from me and from Luminis. Hi, I'm Margarita. I'm a professional homemaker. I was referred to Dr. Casey Reyes by a very good friend of mine who I trust very much. And after that, everything was history. The first time I went to Dr. Casey was really for Botox. And I wanted to try it because, you know, some of my friends have tried it and they look great. My threshold in pain is very, very low, very low. From one to 10, the Botox would be, say about three. You know, it's just really an injection, but it's the thought of it. It's, it's not really the actual injection that's, it's bearable. Since I was young, I've always felt quite insecure about my nose. It's really more for myself. It will make me happy or happier. So I heard of this uh, new technology wherein I, they, they, they give you, they kind of put a nose bridge and um, just, like, just like the real surgery, but it's less invasive. It's actually not invasive at all. It can, it can take maybe 30 minutes to an hour and it's done. I prefer the nose thread lift over the rhinoplasty because it's less invasive, there's no downtime. Right after, you can see the effect already, whereas if you go through surgery, you'll have bruises, you'll, you can't go out because you have plasters all over your nose. This one, it's like nothing happened. And you look great. Doc Casey was so cool. I mean, somehow she made me feel so comfortable and, and less afraid. She really has very light hands, you know. She knows exactly where to, you know, to put the injection, all that. Um, I say this because after that, I, I didn't even have any bruise. It came out really nice. I was very happy. Very happy. Well, of course, I, I, I still feel a little bit nervous, but I'm just so confident of the skills of Dr. Casey. She is the best. The center of the face is very important in aesthetic for obvious reasons. It's usually one of the first things people notice. Last episode, we work on Margarita's cheeks, and this time, we're talking about her nose, a very prominent feature in most people's faces. Here's a quick snippet of where we are now, working on the middle third of Margarita's face. The nose is one of the very first things people notice, and aesthetic treatments on the nose can make big differences on how the rest of the features look. A lot of people would go for nose enhancements for more height or structure, which we explored in one of our previous episodes. This time, we'll be focusing on lifting the nose. Unbeknown to some, the structure of our noses also changes as we age, tending to slope downward. This is called ptosis. To reverse Margarita's ptosis or nose sag, we will be performing our signature luminous lift. It involves using a thread, one of my first choices for the enhancement of the nasal area. 
the shreds restores and enhances volume, which effectively lifts the nose, complementing her entire middle third of the face. I will be using my bespoke technique for the natural look. In terms of what thread we'll be using, we believe in having multiple options here at Luminis and using the option that would provide our patient with the best result. For Margarita, it's best to use PCL or polycaprolactone threads, a propriety absorbable barb thread that will actively lift, hold, and support the nose in her desired shape and height. This thread is very safe. The body will absorb and release it over time, and the patient will enjoy the results up to 1.5 to 2 years depending on the nature of the drooping and the elasticity and structure of the patient's nose cartilage. You're asking me if I'm happy? Absolutely happy. I would do it again, and I would highly recommend it to my friends who are, who are afraid to go under the knife. I hope you guys learned a little something from this episode of Skin Vesting. Before you go, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell if you want to learn more from me and from Luminous.